Right there, right there. Put it down, put it down, put it, put it down. Body over. Oh, there you have it. Right off the damn. Oh my god. People are flying through the air dead. Bring around the rosies. Oh, dude, you check. There you have it. Man, I told you. Oh. You're dead, dude. That's what you get. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Jeff Fabiano, and this is LSPDFR. Today, we're doing a uh, patrol in the Sandy Shores area in an unmarked uh, CVPI, and mainly because uh, I wanted to use Night Kid's um, his, uh, CVPI pack again. Uh, I'm using version 1.0. The reason why I'm using the older version is so I can have blue lights. All blues, baby. Very nice. I love the look of all blue lights. Um, and uh, I wanted to change it up a little bit from what we were used to. But we're going to be doing some proactive police work. We're going to be doing some uh, traffic stops. We'll probably take some high-risk um, uh, call-outs if they do come over the radio. Uh, we've been getting reports. Oh, man. Okay, he slowed down for that little coyote. That's what was going on there. Um, uh, we get reports of uh, some possible uh, meth labs in the area, as well as um, we'll be looking for a DUI. Now, I, I want to make a quick disclaimer. Here in uh, Missouri, we use unmarked units, especially to blend in with traffic for DUI enforcement and whatnot. Uh, I know in California that you know they're not you're not allowed to do too many t uh, traffic stops in an unmarked vehicle. However, we're going to bend the rules on California law. Oh no! And um, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to enjoy the car and we're going to do our thing. So let's get out of here tonight and uh, see what we can come across. Uh, very very happy Wednesday to all of you guys. Um, I hope your week is off to a great start. And uh, let's uh, find some peoples. Oh, that guy's driving with no uh, helmet. Not a huge deal. We're not really looking for that. We're looking for some uh, bigger fish to fry. Like this one right here, Weaving Willie. Possible drunk driver right here. Look at this. Can't even keep it. Can't even keep it on the road. I'm going to go ahead and light him up. See if he will listen. Okay, he is going to get off the road for us. All the way to the side of the road on the dirt, please. All right, we'll move him up a little further. Right there will be perfect, actually. Fantastic. Uh, I get asked all the time, Jeff, what do you use for um, that sound effect? Uh, all I'm doing is just talking, and then I uh, edit it in post with some uh, EQ and some reverb and stuff to make it sound like a bullhorn. So that's what's going on with that. All right, so we're going to be out with this guy. No plate. Well, we will get the plate from him here in a minute. We will, we will. Let's get out and have a little talk with them. Before we do that, I got ahead of myself today. We need to uh, get in the trunk and get our vest on and all that stuff. So let's do that right now before we make contact with this individual. All righty. We have a weapons, armor, and a med kit now. All is well. Let's go ahead and make contact with this guy and see what's going on. Hello. How you doing tonight? My name is Jeff with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Pulled you over for weaving all over the road. Inside appears clean. Driver appears calm. We're not going to worry about the observation window too much. Let's make contact with them. Just say hello. Hi. Hi. Got ID on you tonight? Kiflom. Kiflom. All right. So he does have an ID. Fred Williamson. All right, Fred. Just sit tight. Be right back with you. All right, Fred Williamson. Okay. So he doesn't have a plate on that vehicle. Um, not the biggest deal. Uh, Fred Williamson. Let's see if uh, anything comes back on him. License is expired and no warrant. So he's looking like a, uh, he's just uh, looking like a normal uh, citation thing here. All right, Fred, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I want you to be honest with me when I ask you, have you been drinking tonight? Well, that's a good idea. I will breathalyze you. So we're going to go ahead and run the breathalyzer on him here. Actually, let's go ahead and exit questioning. And will it not breathalyze? What's going on here? All right, we're going to go ahead and breathalyze him. He's going to put his legs between his... Or his head between his legs. 1.44 pro miles of alcohol in their blood. Now, pro miles is different than BAC. So he blew a 1.4 pretty much, period. Um, uh, if it turns red, it just means that he's been drinking. So there you have it. He said to breathalyze him. We did. My breathalyzer wasn't working. I had to get that script working for some reason. I don't know what was that what that was all about. Let's go ahead and have him uh, step off the vehicle. All right, get off the bike for me. Stupid. All righty. I'm going to screw you well, up Well, first of all, good. you're driving with an expired, and that's not the reason why I'm uh, arresting you. Obviously arresting you for DUI, Fred. So you got anything illegal on you I need to know about before I put you in my car? 
probably need to let me know right now. So let's find out if he has anything on him. I love the look of all blues. It looks so good. Found a handgun. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't put you in my car first. Follow me, Fred. Just come here. To the back of my car. All right, fantastic. Get in the car and behave. Get in the car and behave. There we go. I'm just going to do one search real fast. Nothing too crazy. Till we find anything on this thing. This old piece of junk. What do we got here? Anything? Package drugs on the bike. So there you have that. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to call for a tow truck. I want it to come from the east. So we'll do it from that way. Um, okay. Yep. Tow truck, please. Let's get this thing out of here. Package drugs on the bike. He had them stuffed up underneath the handlebars or something. Uh, no plate on the vehicle. We have no registration information, so I cannot run that uh, vehicle's registration. It's it's a shame. So the box truck's going to take that thing away, and we're going to take him down to the jail. All right, let's go ahead and drop him off right here. Nope, not happy with that. Maybe right here. Yep, right there. So Fred's going to go to jail for DUI. Uh, you know, we just pulled him over because he was weaving all over the road and he had drugs on him and uh, he also was drunk. So he's going to spend the night in the drunk tank slash jail. Citizens report narcotics activity. On okay, there it is. We're getting a uh, call of um, a possible suspected meth lab. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to go check this one out. We're going to go do it. It looks like it's going to be up by the uh, camp where the aliens uh, love to roam. Watch out for that little coyote. All right. So what, we, what the plan here is we're going to show up on scene. We're going to call for a bunch of code two units and we're going to go in nice and silent. I don't want them to know that we, uh, you know, have an inclination that there is even a uh, problem. I don't want to spook them too much. I'm sure they've already, you know, they're going to be on high alert as it is trying to run a meth lab out here in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to stage up here and get ready for an, or pretty much a raid on this, uh, which will probably be a motorhome. That's usually what it is. And it's going to be down and around the corner here. So I've got eyes on it. It's not very legit. No, I don't think that's it. It's not this uh, van right here. No, that's a Granger. I thought I had eyes on it already. All right, what do we got here? Let's go ahead and black our car out. Looks like it's going to be up on top of the hill. Yeah, pot. Yep, I got eyes on it right there. And uh, there's two individuals standing up there next to it. So we're just going to act like we didn't see anything here. And we're going to actually use this car as a nice little cover for ourselves. So with that said, let's get out. We're going to call for a bunch of code two units. I mean, we need everybody. So look for code two. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five. In and all should be well. All right. Sanchansky mountain range. All right. So just going to wait for our code two backup to show up. They are in route right now. We do have our weapon pretty much ready to go here. We got a light on it and all that good stuff. We're just double checking. We have everything that we need. Passive radar, and there it is. <laughs> All the uh, mods are starting to conflict with each other. There's so many of them now. So we're just going to wait for our backup to show up before we do anything. We called for a bunch of it, so shouldn't be too long before they're here. All right, here comes our code two backup right now. We got three of them. We should have one more unit, but that's okay. So we're just going to move up on these guys and do our things. Look at those cruise lights. Very cool stuff. All right. You guys ready to do this? Here comes the last unit now. Let's go. Let's go bust them. We're going up on the hill here real quietly. Got to be careful here. Um, shots fired. Shots fired. I didn't see anything. Oh, there he's around the left. I think he's down. Okay, one Lincoln 18. We got one down. We got another one running. Hey, give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Does he have a... What does he have in his hand? Oh, we got another one with a gun. I think he might be down too. Yep, he is. Let's run towards this one. The one that's fleeing here. Don't do anything stupid, dude. Drop it. Drop it. Whatever you have in your hand. Is that a grenade? 
I think it is. It's a tear gas bomb. Yeah, it's tear gas. All right. He's giving up. He's complying right now. Let's go in for the arrest. One Lincoln 18. I got one 10 15. Uh, if it will let me. No, it won't. Okay, that was very strange. All right, we got him in custody. Justice Chance. Very n interesting name there, Justice Chance. Um, he took a chance making meth tonight, but now yeah, he has a warrant for his arrest. Imagine that. All right, Justice. You got anything on you illegal I need to know about? I'm going to search you right now. Right here. Right here. Right now. All right. We'll search that. So that was a pretty successful uh, meth lab bust, Never other than the that. fact that those guys that had weapons lost because they shot at us and they're going to die because of that. So we are going to call for the coroner to uh, come down here and pick these uh, dead bodies. Up. Oh, you, we could have all died right there. Oh, wow. Corner is showing up on scene now. Don't hit the suspect. All right, Chance. Mr. Chance. Justice. Follow me back to my car. They're going to be uh, taking pictures of the dead bodies. So we showed up on scene. It was uh, pretty good. Pretty good bust. Cannot be upset with that at all. This is not nearly as bad as the last guy. The guy was stuck in the toilet. There it is. The old toilet guy. Never fails. In the back of the police car. Don't be a dick. Just get in the car. Get in the car. All right, cool. So we're going to be code four off of this. Uh, those units are leaving. They picked up the dead bodies. Uh, the other ones, I think, disappeared. So one Lincoln 18, show us 10-7 uh, with one to the station. All right, we're going to drop this guy off here. So we showed up on scene for that uh, meth lab. Uh, some people shot at us. They lost their lives, but we were able to get one of these guys. Maybe he can give us some more information on uh, their ideas behind the meth labs. We have a traffic alert. On okay, we're getting a Cadillac traffic alert drive. for somebody Both here. Attempted homicide. Uh, attempted homicide uh, is what that individual is uh, wanted for. So we're going to try to catch up to them. They're heading through Sandy Shores right now in a vehicle. So we're going to attempt to catch up and perform a traffic stop. It's going to be a high-risk traffic stop, so a, a felony. We'll uh, ask for some uh, backup. So we're keeping some decent speed to this vehicle because we do want to catch up with him. Looks like he's going to pass right off of our uh, nose up here in front of us, right there. And he's going to turn around the other way. So it's a primo. Attention. This is dispatch. Approach right. with caution. Let's go ahead and flip around here real quick and prepare a traffic stop on this vehicle. Felony stop, actually going to be right here, in fact. Okay. I think he knows the gig's up now, so we're going to be out with this individual. We're going to run a plate on him. I'm going to step out real fast, and we're going to call for We've got additional code, code 3s. In Sandy Shores. So additional code 3s will be on their way. Plate. See if anything comes back. Two, eight, Adam, Mary, Union, no tax on the eight, vehicle. Seven. Proceed with caution. All right, units are showing up on scene now, so we're going to order them out of the vehicle. Sir, out of the vehicle. Out of the vehicle. Police, stop whatever the hell you're and doing. And he's giving up. He's giving up. All right. So, oh, my God, dead idiot. Nope, you are not done. You are not done. Hey, LSPD, give it up. Don't get on the ground. It's occupied times two. We'll deal with the passenger in a minute. All right, going in for the arrest on this subject. Wanted for a homicide. Johnny K. Johnny Cage. Fight. All right, come on. I want, don't want you to. You don't want to. Know, you don't want uh, Raiden to know what you're up to. All right, Johnny Cage. Let's see what Johnny Cage is up to. And he's got a warrant for his arrest. So there you have it. Makes uh, makes it quite simple for us. So let's go ahead and we're going to call for a single transport unit for Johnny. He has an expired license as well. For a suspect placed under arrest so next we're going to deal with the, uh, the passenger. See if he knows anything about this. So I'm not going to search him because they're going to deal with him. They're going to search him themselves. This guy here. Let's go ahead and have him step out of the vehicle. Stop! Police! Come on out of the vehicle for me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to detain you now for uh, safety. 
Not sure what's going on. Do you have any idea what's going on here? Uh, before we search this vehicle, uh, anything on your side is going to be against you. So I'm going to search you. Have anything illegal on you need to know about? Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a felony as we go through the fence. Magic wire cutters. Well, this guy's not up to any good, is he? All right, just sit tight. Hang out right there. I'm going to search this side right now. See if there's anything over here we can charge him with. And a gas can with a couple feet of hose. Not the, not the end of the world. All right. Um, somebody driving a... No, they're just honking. I thought they were driving a uh, stolen vehicle. A makeup bag in the back. What are these people doing honking their horns tonight? Search this side of the vehicle. This is the driver's side. And some drugs. Okay. Jesus, that somebody needs to take care of that idiot. All right, we're going to set him on the ground really quick. Nope. Nope. No need to do that, but okay. All right. Fantastic. Let's stand him up. I was hoping to get some more information. I don't remember his name, so we're going to have to look that up in a minute. All right, so it's going to be Chase Edgefura. Chase Edgefura. Okay. See if anything comes back on his name. He's valid and no Sorry, warrants for his crap. arrest. We don't really have anything to go by on this guy, so we're going to actually let him go. Um, he was in the car with this guy, but, you know, we're going to release him. We didn't find anything on his side, and we'll have to role play that. His side of the story was that he didn't know uh, that that guy had been involved in a hospital. Is this guy really? You really? Really? Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here, you. Okay, we're going to catch up to this vehicle that's just joyriding around, honking the horn. And taking off at a high rate of speed, passing cars. Not too worried about uh, having a that, ve that last vehicle towed. Okay, we're going to pull this one over. I mean, what the hell are they even doing with their life? All the way to the side of the road. Please don't hit the coyote. All right, so we're going to be out with this Primo. I mean, they got our attention. They really, really wanted our attention, didn't they? Yes, they did. Let's go ahead and run a plate on this thing. It's probably stolen. Oh, it's the same same license plate as us. Seems totes. 46 Edward Edward King 572. Same one as us. Suspect's license plate. 46 <gasps> oh, Edward Edward King stolen. There it is. Yeah, of course. Luigi Rossi. All right. Luigi Rossi. Luigi Rossi. We're going to run their name before we run into them. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it will oh, It will let you. Sometimes it won't. Luigi Rossi. No, it's not going to let us. I, I don't understand why. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Nonetheless, we're going to just talk to this person like it's not a big deal. Um, we are going to call for an additional code to response unit. We have an officer in need of assistance. How are you doing this evening? You know... No, small bags, no for holding drugs. Yeah, you seem nervous. What the, f what the hell are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Hogging the horn, getting our attention? What the hell's your problem, dick? Yeah, I don't get it. Got ID on you? Let's see if it's this, if it's the registered owner. Yeah, it's definitely not. Tyler Sanderson. All right, Tyler, sit tight. Be right back with you. Tyler Sanderson. Mr. Sanderson. Let's go. Tyler Sanderson. So that's the reason why I wouldn't let us uh, search his name because it wasn't the guy. Expired license. No worries. All righty. Need you to step out of the vehicle for me. Oh All right. Placing you under arrest for uh, possession of a stolen vehicle. Oh, if you will let me. Yep. It's just these at rage plug and hooks just get longer and longer with their uh, delays. All right. Not a big deal. Okay, Tyler. Got anything illegal on you I need to know about before we get this... Uh, car back to its owner all right nothing to interest all right come back here with me i mean he was honking the horn joy joy riding and just being a jackass so we had to you know intervene get in the car and behave you know he probably won't behave but you know hey by the way have you been drinking tonight probably need to know that information don't we let's find out what we got here nope all right, just sit tight. We'll be we'll be at the end in a minute. All right, so we are going to go ahead and search this vehicle. 
Uh, and see if we can charge Tyler with anything else than, uh, you know, being in possession of a stolen vehicle. Which is pretty bad as it is. Package drugs and the door fell off. I don't make them like they used to. So package drugs. That's going to be charged against him. What do we got here in the trunk? McDonald's gift card. I need to update the uh, vehicle search mod. I will do that by next time. I hope. I promise. I hope. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Pile of life magazines. Well, there you have it. Let's go ahead and call for the uh, insurance company. Come pick this thing up. Even though the door fell off it from searching it. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, maybe it does. All right. We got this guy's car. So here they are right here to pick it up. It is so loud when it goes. Doing good. How you guys doing tonight? I'm glad we were able to recover that vehicle. This guy's gonna go to jail for being a pretty much a dipshit. Whoa! Honk of the horn and uh, get, getting our attention. We pull him over and sure enough, driving a stolen vehicle. Let's uh, we'll be 10-7 with one at the station. God, that is so loud. That. Da -da -da -da. Alrighty, we're gonna pull in here and this guy's going to jail. Uh, you know, pulled over the car because they were honking and being an idiot and uh, he he decided to be, you know, stealing a car tonight. So he's going to spend his night in jail. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I sure hope you enjoyed. It was nice to have a unmarked car. This thing is really badass. Um, you know, the link for it will, of course, will be in the description below. But um, yeah, it's going to do it. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care.